A battle is brewing over boundaries. Some parents in Pasco County taking legal action against the Pasco County School District. Now, they're trying to keep their kids in the schools they're already in as the district tries to rezone certain areas. Paul Mueller has more now from Pasco County. Parents as well as school district officials testifying before an administrative judge here at the school administration building today. Those parents telling the judge how rezoning would cast a dark cloud over their children's futures. LaRonda Starr's 14-year-old daughter Nia is part of the competitive Wiregrass High School marching band. Rezoning would send Nia to another school and she doesn't want that to happen. Unfair. Unfair. Parents taking the stand today upset their kids will be forced to go to other schools if the superintendent's rezoning plan goes into effect. It's hard for her. She is a very smart kid, but that doesn't mean she don't need the support that she has gotten since she's been here. Parents questioning why Superintendent Kurt Browning rejected the rezoning committee's recommendations, claiming no. they didn't have enough opportunity to give their input and how they were allegedly kept in the dark. I didn't receive any notifications um, via emails, phone messages, uh, letters. The reason for rezoning, alleviate overcrowding at some schools now and taking the county's growth into consideration. Parents also claim some meetings took place behind closed doors and that could be a violation of Florida's Open Meetings Act. Um, I will have three children at three different schools uh, trying to figure out which child I'm going to support. That my child is not going to excel in the new school because she's been ripped out of the community she has in the school she's in. District officials deny those allegations. Now, if the judge sides with the district, rezoning would take effect next school year. If he sides with the parents, it appears it's back to the drawing board. In Pasco County, Paul Mueller, News Channel 8. And we're told parents have also requested a temporary injunction against the rezoning efforts. A circuit court judge will hear that in June.